Hello guys and welcome to Nadeem and Sabalara. My name is Serge and in today's video I'm driving back uh, on the way from Mercedes um, and I got a limp mode, two of them. Here's what they look like. Well, basically guys, it says no TMS uh, type of thing, which I'm not really sure what that relates to. Possibly that relates to somehow with a DEF or it can be related to the recent uh, modifications that Mercedes has done. Uh, if you have gotten modifications done, let me know if you experienced anything like that. Now, this could be a very typical type of code that maybe, you know, gets thrown around regardless. But before I take it to Mercedes, so, you know, I drove it for, you know, some time, uh, including my customer drove for some time. No complaints. This thing was working just fine. Of course, right now, uh, also I got turbo on the boost type of code so there's possibly a leak somewhere so um i'll need to check that out or or find it or why not but i'm gonna take a look underneath the hood and see if i spot anything obvious on my way back from the dealer this is actually what happened um, i'm seeing tpms and it said no tpms earlier so i'm actually like in limp mode pressing gas all the way down and basically lost my turbo so it is accelerating but it's accelerating like I have no turbo but a little bit before that I heard kind of like a turbo whistle so there's possibly a leak but I'm also smelling burnt rubber so I'm not really sure What's all that about? If this is my vehicle smelling it, why would it be smelling like burnt rubber? Can you smell it, Kevin? Yes. Yeah, it smells like burnt rubber, so hopefully my van's not gonna catch on fire. This is gonna be ridiculous if it does. First, right there, I see like where it says TPMS. It said no TPMS, whatever that's supposed to be. I just got off the exit. The van is having a typical type of um, what you would call a limp mode, so it's it's basically drivable, but at the same time, there's no turbo. So I'm not sure if this is related somehow to the modifications that they done and it's causing issues or I might have a boost leak somewhere. So we will see. I am pulled over at a QT. There's my wife right there. She's coming in with a check engine scanner. I'm gonna scan my vehicle and see so what's guys, up. this is the code that I'm getting. Kinda interesting. P2610 pending. Timer performance. So ECM slash PCM internal engine off. Timer performance that's weird never seen it and this is uh, of course a code that i'm very familiar with po299 pending so obviously we don't have any check engine light on just yet but we are experiencing a problem which Guys, is now that i'm parked and i know what the codes are uh here's what i'm gonna do first we're gonna rev it as you can see it will not go above 3000 rpm so now i'm gonna delete the codes Code and try it but will it start? It has started. Now, I don't see that TPMS type of thing. Um, I'm very new to the DEF type of vehicles and I'm not sure if this is somehow related to the DEF fluid because, you know, since I bought it, I haven't really put on any miles. So immediately I set up an appointment with Mercedes to get it in for service. That being said, I really don't even know how much DEF fluid is in there. So looks like I'll have to buy some and add some before I actually have any issues with that. We obviously don't want that to happen. But I guess let's see how All much right, it rests. So let's start. So it rests pretty good. Okay. 
so that seems to be okay so here we go guys we are underneath my hood now immediately i'm noticing uh it looks like my uh turbo resonator that little seal it's sitting a little bit too far from what i could tell um also there's a little gap right there Definitely could be leaking from there. I've been hearing kind of like a little whistle. Sometimes that seal towards uh, the back right there where I plug into the turbo and sucking the air in uh, could actually be blown. And that actually also will create a, a turbo uh, loophole. So, but surprisingly that it actually even throws it because technically it's sucking air uh, from here into there. Once it goes to the turbo, it goes, you know, like around and then it comes back and then, you know, it goes into the engine from the bottom. But here's the way the engine sounds. Looks like there is uh, a leak of sorts over here on this side. Now, this is not something I took a look at. Maybe this was leaking for a while, but this wasn't like that when I actually disassembled the engine. So, there is some kind of leak. It's quite black over here on this side. Anyways, guys, the code has been deleted. I'm gonna start driving home and we'll see how fast the code triggers. I'm driving and there's a whistle. Actually, I used to not hear that whistle. Um, let's see, I'll have to drive a little bit slower to actually hear the whistle. It all sounds like, like, a, like right there. This is the whistle that I'm hearing. It's just a slight whistle, so. When I accelerate right now, it's accelerating pretty good. But apparently there's some kind of leak, I guess, since I'm hearing that whistle. This is why we got a limp mode. Guys, just been driving normally for the past, I'd say, five minutes. It really hasn't been that long, and uh, and now this is where it's at. It's limp mode again. Um, wasn't driving it fast. Wasn't doing anything. Just kind of going along with the speed limit. And uh, yeah, limp mode. So I wonder which one of those limp modes I'm gonna have. I'll have to scan it again to see. And uh, this time I'm not going to delete the codes, but I will use my uh, star diagnostic system to further diagnose the problem and uh, see where the problem lies. Is it with the, you know, with the turbo uh, boost leak or possibly something that Mercedes did to my computer by doing all those programs that they did that are probably untested. and many people that's gonna have this work done do not even own any uh, scanning device uh, to scan your own computer so I highly recommend that you get one um, I'd say start off with a uh, iCarsoft MB2 uh, there's some other ones on the market out there um, you know that are good but something like an iCarsoft MB2 it's simple to use and it's a uh, Mercedes specific type of software so you'll be able to actually uh, diagnose your own vehicle somewhat proper way uh, whether it's engine or transmission related or ABS systems uh, you'll be able to you know do a lot of those uh, things right there so anyways guys this is gonna be the end of the video because uh, it is getting late and I'm gonna take a further look into it and make another video okay thanks for watching guys bye bye